disk and no we don't get ABS even as an option yet maybe this is the first step towards offering ABS later on in this year once it becomes mandatory that we never know however one thing to rejoice is that we now get a rare disk and I'll be showing you guys my trademark breaking test result later on in this video secondly we also get new design for the alloy wheels now which look quite attractive and more modern Thirdly, we get better quality, larger rear view mirrors that offer a wider field of view compared to the older mirrors. Fourthly, we also get these reflectors as you can see here which are quite good. The rear fender that we see here was revised last year itself when this replaced the not so popular tire hugger and this is carried forward as it is. And last but not the least, we also get this new special edition Armada blue paint scheme along with more striking body graphics which lends the bike a fresh and distinguished look. I personally however still love the 2016 body graphics and paint schemes because I believe they really enhance the overall visual appeal of this design silhouette. We also get a harder seat now which Yamaha claim is a skid resistant seat such that the rider doesn't skid down the seat each time he applies the brakes. Now mind you harder seats are not all that bad for your butt because overly soft seats also tend to give you a butt ache after long rides. Now let me go ahead and highlight some other important points about this bike that allow this bike to stand out among its competition even to this day. First of all this is the lightest bike in the entire segment weighing in at just 133 kgs. But the most incredible thing about this bike and Yamaha's engineering brilliance is that though the bike is amazingly lightweight, it offers the best stability through the mid-range at speeds of around 80 to 90 km per hour. Despite offering modest power figures, the lightweight construction enables the bike to offer superb pickup right off the mark and also aids in offering better fuel efficiency than the version 1 model. Secondly, the FZ version 2.0 is the only street fighter in its segment to come equipped with fuel injection. The Jitser SF falls into the sport tourer or fully fed bikes category. The FI system on board the FZ version 2 uses actuators and sensors to calculate and deliver optimum amount of fuel into the engine, thereby enhancing the overall performance and mileage. The engine gets a compact hemispherical combustion chamber that is designed to deliver a perfect blend of power and economy. The blue core technology on board optimizes combustion efficiency, thereby resulting in 14% better efficiency than the version 1 and also a significantly improved acceleration feel. Thirdly, this bike gets a midship muffler which offers various advantages like mass concentration and weight reduction. Next, the 140 section radial rear tire has been specially developed by MRF for the FZ with better water channeling capabilities in order to offer superb road grip on wet road surfaces and also while high speed cornering. Apart from this, we also get an ideally positioned street control handlebar that lets you flick around this bike in traffic like Lionel Messi would dodge a football through the rival's defense. We also get the same all-digital speedo console that offers a speedometer, tachometer, odometer, trip meters and a fuel gauge. We also get the eco mode light indicator which comes on when you are riding in the right speed in the right gear. So long as you are riding with the eco mode light on, you are extracting maximum fuel efficiency from your bike. The engine specs remain the same with the 149cc engine putting out 13.2 PS of max power and 12.81mm front telescopic forks and a lightweight monocross rear shock absorber that aids in the mass centralization concept. The suspension offers good comfort at lower speeds and supports the chassis well at higher speeds thereby offering superb stability. Talking about the wheels and tires, we get 17 inch wheels and tubeless tires with 100 by 80 tire up front and a 140 by 60 tire at the back. The tires offer superb road grip on wet as well as dry road surfaces. Ground clearance is 160mm, more than sufficient in city conditions. Seat height is 790mm, just about ideal for riders of all sizes to feel comfortable with this bike. Tank capacity is 12 litres, which I believe is okay, considering the fact that this is basically a city-focused street fighter. Mileage wise, I used to get 42 kmpl from my FC version 2.0 in city conditions and this figure would improve on the highways for sure. Price at Shurum Hyderabad for this 2018 Yamaha FZS rare disc variant is around rupees 86,000. So whom is this bike meant for? If you're going to ride predominantly within the city, you want a compact, lightweight, reliable bike that offers a completely fatigue-free riding experience, offers nice and punchy acceleration while also delivering decent mileage and also brings along the quality and trust and reliability that comes as standard with every Yamaha motorcycle, then this is the bike for you. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.